Cholinergic antagonists are also called cholinergic blockers. These drugs bind to cholinoreceptors, but they do not trigger the usual uh, uh, receptor-mediated intracellular effects. Right, so they are divided into two groups, M-cholinoblockers and N-cholinoblockers. M-cholinoblockers are drugs which block the neurotransmitter in the muscarinic uh, synapses of the parasympathetic nerves and decrease the effects of parasympathetic innervation. Uh, these drugs also block the M-cholinoreceptors in the sympathetic neurons innervating sweat glands. M-cholinoblockers can be further grouped into two, natural and synthetic. Natural cholinoblockers include atropine, uh, scopolamine, platyphylin, and synthetic include uh, ipratropium, triatropium, methacin, pyrenzepine, and others. Then N cholinoblockers can be divided into ganglioblockers and myorelaxins. Ganglioblockers include uh, benzohexonium, hygronium, pentamine, and myorelaxins include tubocurarin, pancurarin, and uh, succinylcholine. All right, so we will talk about these drugs later. In this video, let's focus on atropine. Atropine is uh, derived from medicinal plants like Atropa belladonna, a deadly nightshade. Right, uh, it is administered orally, intramuscularly, subcutaneously, uh, and it can be applied tropically as eye drops. This drug is actually poorly absorbed in the gut, right? But uh, other roots is actually fast. It has the ability to penetrate the central nervous system and the placenta. This drug is metabolized by atropinus in the liver and it is excreted uh, in the urine, right? So this is the basic mechanism of um, atropine and other m blockers. Right, so this uh, in blue is the most carinic uh, receptor of any type, right, because uh, atropine is actually non-selective. This is acetylcholine, which normally binds to this receptor and trigger the intracellular pathways, which stimulate the uh, parasympathetic activity, right. But in this case, there is competitive inhibition, right, atropine will uh, bind to this uh, active site so that there is um, no intracellular receptor uh, pathway, which is normally triggered by acetylcholine. All right, so uh, let's talk about actions or in different organs, All right? So atropine in the central nervous system, right? Therapeutic doses causes sedation and it is anti-Parkinson effects. Large doses will cause agitation hallucinations, or even coma. In the eye, atropine causes a dilation of pupil called midriasis. Uh, it causes inability to focus uh, for near vision, cyclopedia, that's paralysis of accommodation, and it increases the intraocular pressure. In the cardiovascular system, Therapeutic doses increases the heart rate. It's called tachycardia, but it doesn't have any effect on blood pressure. In respiratory system, this drug causes bronchodilation and decreases secretion in bronchial glands. In the gastrointestinal tract, this drug reduces secretion of saliva and gastric juice decrease intestinal motility and it has antispasmodic effect. In the urinary system, it causes a relaxation of smooth muscles of urinary blood, right? So it decreases agency in cystitis. 
in sweat glands uh, it causes inhibition of sweat secretion uh, and atropine is used as antidote in case of uh, poisoning by anticholinesterases right so it blocks their muscarinic effects dumbbells but it uh, does not uh, uh, remove the nicotinic effects we'll talk about this concept later right so these are some of the indications and contraindications of atropine sulfate right so it's indicated in eye trauma and inflammation of the eye right because atropine uh, is known as a pharmacologic bandage right it produces eye immobilization by causing cyclopegia and medriasis right pharmacologic bandage atropine sulfate it's used in diagnosis of eye diseases and measurement of refraction for correct uh, selection of glasses it's also used in bradycardia and av block hypersalivation biliary or renal colic enuresis pre-medication uh, before surgery right and in acute poisoning with muscarine containing mushrooms m cholinomimetic anticholinesterase or even morphine Right, so these are the indications. Contraindications of atropine sulfate include glaucoma, tachycardia, tachyarrhythmia, atonia in the GIT, achalasia, ulcerative colitis, prostate hyperplasia, uh, prostate adenomas, hepatic insufficiency, hyperthyroidism, high body temperature toxicosis of pregnancy, cerebral pathology in children, childhood, or old age. And uh, the side effects include the following. High body temperature due to reduced sweating, increase in heart rate, dry mouth, dry, flushed skin, cycloplegia, constipation, disorientation. It can also cause acute angle closure glaucoma in elderly due to medriasis. It causes urinary retention in men with prostatic hyperplasia and it causes hyperthermia in infants. Right, so there is a way to remember some of these side effects. Hot as a hair, fast as a fidu, Dry as a bone, red as a bit, blind as a bat, mad as a hater, full as a flask. Right. So in case of uh, acute atropine poisoning, let's say the patient got in contact with um, uh, those uh, belladonna flower or gemstone sweet. Right. So the antidote is uh, neostigmine or other anticholinesterases. These drugs cause accumulation of acetylcholine in synaptic uh, clefts resulting in liberation of the receptor from atropine, right? Because it's competitive, right? Next drug is uh, clopromazine. This one will decrease psychotic effects and barbiturates will decrease seizures. Thank you so much. Please check out the next video because we are going to cover other drugs uh, in M. Uh, Colino Blocker's group.